Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. I'm back with another giant haul video. I know I just had one a couple of weeks ago, but um, I've been buying probably a little bit too much Lego and it's not even, we haven't even hit the summer sets yet. So let's get started. I got this video Candy Mermaid beatbox. I did pay full price for this. I just really want that Candy Mermaid minifigure, but these are so terribly overpriced. I feel like ashamed of paying $20 for this. And then as for the other small stuff, I've just got a bunch of poly bags. Got a couple of these Raya poly bags because they're really interesting for the parts. Got those from Target, um, Titanium Mini Mac. I've got a stack of poly bags, probably like 12 high that I haven't built yet. Got this Swamp Airboat set from, uh, from Bricklink, as well as this Merchant Avatar J poly bag. And also from Target, I got this friend's flower cart, which I think is amazing because you have like two characters, like friends characters in such a small set. All right, and now we're going to go right into the giant stuff. Ugh. Okay, so I got this Mickey and Minnie Mouse buildable characters set. These are like kind of demonic, but there was like an offer from one of those cashback websites on this and I was looking at it, so I bought it. Um, I also really wanted to get the Chariot Gift with Purchase set, which is right here. So this was an exclusive with the Coliseum over Black Friday weekend. And I guess they have so many of these that they've extended that out with any purchase of the Coliseum, like all the way through May 2021 now. So like six months more than it was supposed to run, because this was only supposed to be available for three days. And now they're giving it with any purchase of an equal value. So any $550 purchase. So I got this Mickey and Minnie set, but I don't know if I want to keep it because it is so weird. I really want to build it, and there are so many awesome pieces in it, but it's just not really worth $180. Um, but then again, if I do a Disneyland display, it can fit in there. So I'm very conflicted on this because I really should not have spent that much money on it. So I might return it, but then at the same time, I want to keep it. And now you might be asking, well, if I made a $550 purchase to get that chariot set, what else did I get? And I got ugh, the new Grand Piano. I mean, I guess it's not that new anymore. But this came out back in November or something. No, not it came out last August. Wow, so it's been almost a year since this came out. And I really wanted to get it. I just hadn't pulled the trigger yet. So now I finally did. It might not have been the best time to, but I really want to build this. And so I'm 100% keeping this one. The Mickey and Minnie one is the only one that I'm unsure about. And continuing with giant 18 plus sets, I did get the brand new Friends Apartments set. This just came in the mail yesterday. I think I'm gonna build it pretty much immediately. I did start watching the TV show because I wanted to buy this set, but I couldn't really justify $150 without, you know, actually watching the show other than like one or two episodes here and there. So I started watching the show and now I like the show. So now I feel okay about buying this set. But the thing is, this is 150, Mickey and Minnie is 180. So I might return Mickey and Minnie kind of to offset the cost of buying this. I did get the bonsai tree set as well. I've also got the flower bouquet coming, but that's a little bit delayed. And I just wanted to film this haul video as soon as possible so I can start building this stuff. Um, missed out on this and the flower bouquet at the start of the year. So I'm glad that I got it now. And speaking of things I missed out on, on the, at the start of the year, I did get both of the new Chinese New Year sets. The Spring Lantern Festival has been sold out since January. It was finally back in stock for a couple of days. So I bought it. And this thing, this is just an amazing set. I really want to integrate it into my city and make like a little garden area or like Chinatown section. I don't, I honestly don't think I'll have room for this, but I'm really excited for this one. And the other one is a cool set as well, but I pretty much only bought it just because I like collecting the Chinese New Year sets. I definitely like this one a lot more. I also got some friend stuff from the start of the year. Andrea's family house. I thought about putting this in the city. Now that I've actually started laying out the city, there's definitely not any room for this. But this is just a really cool house set, and I did get it for a decent discount. And I also got the Heart Lake City Movie Theater, which is just a really awesome set. So I cannot wait to build this thing. And I'm sure you've noticed by now that the theme of this haul is just stuff I've missed out on from the last few months. So I did get three of the Ninjago Island sets. The smallest one, got the Jungle Dragon here, and then I did get the Keeper's Village as well. No Catamaran Sea Battle. That set 
$70 just seems expensive. It doesn't have any exclusive minifigures, and I don't really like the Kai ship build, so I think I'm just going to stick with these three island sets and not complete the wave. And speaking of completion, we do have the last few items here. Got the Attack on the Spider Lair set. Uh, some of the poly bags are falling off. I got the Doc Ock Spider-Man Mech Battle set. It was only $20, and I am a Marvel completionist, so I just got it. And then another $20 set, Iron Man versus Thanos. I actually don't mind the builds here, and I really like the new kind of like splat base uh, display stands, so went ahead and got that as well. And I mean, I did get this Avenger set from last year as well, Wrath of Loki, um, but I'm not really including it in the haul because I already built it last night. All right, so I guess that does it for this haul video. Again, a lot of stuff, a lot of old stuff. Well, not well, not old, but, you know, from earlier in the year. Um, I don't know if it was the best idea to spend so much money on sets from January and March when we have so many awesome things coming in the summer. But I'm really excited to build all of these. It is going to be a while before I get to the larger sets like the Grand Piano, but I am going to try to tackle the Friends Apartments tonight so that I can get that review out as soon as possible. But that's it for today, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now!